If you've got a flat tire, I'll show you how to find the leak in the tire. Sometimes you've got to remove the tire. Typically, the leak is going to be in the tread. Take some soapy water and just pour it and start looking in the tread for bubbles. Tip the tire, pour it into where the bead is, and just let the water run all the way around and check for air. It'll hiss out with bubbles. Tip the tire on the other side, pour it in and just let the water run all the way down the bead. Pour soap on the valve stem. Look real close and push it back and forth, see if you see any bubbles. I found the leak when you pour soapy water on it, you'll see it immediately. And it looks like we've got a piece of metal stuck in the tire. Put an X on it so you don't lose it. With a pair of pliers, we're gonna dig in there and try to pull it out. There it is. We'll need to ream out the hole. Take and twist and push the ream into the hole. To make it easier, I've got an extra one of these reams, so I cut it out of the handle. I'll put it in a drill. So instead of using a ream with a handle, we'll use it in a drill. A lot easier. Now you can see this goes in a lot easier. The ream should go in fairly easy and come out easy. Here's the patches that'll go in the tire. Sometimes I use half of a patch. Here's the tool that puts the plug in. We'll push it all the way through. Just thread it like a needle. Rubber cement helps a lot. It'll glide in a lot easier and stick better. Push it all the way into the tire. It'll go all the way through. Now that it's on the inside of the tire, pull it up, but not all the way out. Just a little bit out. Once it starts coming up through the tire, just pull it up just a little bit. With side cutters, go ahead and cut everything off. Fill the tire with air. We've got a full 32 PSI. To verify everything is sealed, put a little more soapy water on there, and you can see that it's sealed up. All ready to go.